Hey everybody, Mike at Outdoor Living Guy. I have a beautiful transformation video right now. This is a before and after. This is a happy photo shoot day to you. Can't wait to let you see this. A front yard transformation, a backyard transformation. And all we basically did is took, took out the lawn, replaced it with a beautiful, beautiful landscape. I can't wait to let you see it all right now. Enjoy. Um, actually the day it went up for sale, we bought it. Nice. Yeah, and so there wasn't anything here um, except a, it was a small patio um, and, a, and grass. And so we, you know, we thought about it for a while and I knew what I wanted to do, but it was a matter of, okay, <laughs> am I going to get to do that? And then I decided to find somebody and found you. And um, we both knew that day that was it. That was the person. I mean, the first visit with you, you explained how your company worked and how you started. Uh, these would be the segments that we would go through. And being in the construction business myself and an interior designer, I needed that. I needed all that set up so that I felt like I would be working with the right people. Um, so the idea after living here for about three years, I guess it was two years or three years? Yeah, two years. Um, the main thing that I found was that living in Oregon, we came from California, so living in Oregon, everything is soaking wet all the time. And even when, you know, it's not, it's still all spongy, everything gets in it. It was a nightmare for them. We just wanted simple at our age. We just wanted it, low maintenance. Um, beautiful surroundings, but we wanted low maintenance. So we had a small patio back here and we discussed it several times about whether to leave it in and go over it. And for me being in the construction business, I said, I don't care. We're taking it out and starting new. So, and that, it, it just made all the difference in the world to just have it all gone and then to just rip everything out. At the, so it was just, pure raw to start all over again that made me feel really good and it just really made a significant difference when people came over here afterwards they were going oh you extended out and i said no we didn't extend anything and actually this landscape right here i had already done and they just you know went right around it and sculpted it out it was great
Well, we, we learned our lesson on lawn that when we came to Oregon the first time, we lived down in Albany uh, a long time ago. And uh, so I decided I want a yard. But we put in a massive yard and um, I put in sure, most yeah. of it myself and then I had, had to get a mower and then realized, whoa, this is way too big. So I had to get a riding mower, did that for a while. Six years later, when we headed to Texas, we got to a house down there, it was brand new, and it, uh, we said, no lawn, no lawn. What we've done we have two really tiny little sheds but they're just unassuming and they really fit the side yard very well you can just come on in and it gives you a nice size storage area for you know yard tools or whatever else you're doing and then of course this one has another one if I open this door it's gonna go right up against the camera but you see it's you, you can just put whatever you need instead of doing one large one we have the window here you can just do two smaller ones kind of matches the style of the house. So what a great little plan this is to maximize the space in your garage area and be able to bring it on to the outdoor sheds and really have some um, nice usable and attractive sheds on the side yard. Here's another cool angle I wanted to show you with the sheds. They're great, obviously a long pathway at the end. It's really pretty. I'm gonna show some more B-roll of that, but I just love these little things too. Little storage bins, they're, basically lined with a waterproof protection. So it's a simple, simple, simple area on the side of your house can just catch all the excess. Look at all the toys in here. Just catch all the excess storage stuff that you just need to throw somewhere. These are perfect with the sheds. Good idea, think about it, hopefully this helps. I, um, the company that I had, we used it several times and then my uh, son did a house in California and I thought that was his gift from us was to buy the bolt lighting for his exterior. And um, I just really like the product and the, the people there at the lighting company are super. They'll help you anything you want to know about how to do it. David's been many times on the phone with them asking them what are seem to us stupid questions and why we can't answer them. But they just said, oh, that's normal. This blah, 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 we'll send you this. And right away, we get the materials right away. And it just finished off the yard, right? Yeah. It's like that, once you get this beautiful, you know, landscape, you just wanna, you wanna see it at night. And it, it's just wonderful. Really love it at nighttime, it's so pretty. people so um, we were not quite ready to go but we start you had a start with your designer and Phoebe and we had a, we just hit it off it was great and um, she just said we'll just keep designing till we get it right and you already know kind of what you want so I think we're you know I'll draw up what we've talked about so she came two or three times and we just kept massaging it and finally we were ready. That's a skill that being not a designer <laughs> and sitting on the outside was always something that I admired. The best things was, you know, David has his concerns about running wires later and trying to come up with all that stuff. And that was beautiful on the, because we have a map now. We know exactly where all the pipes are, all the PVCs running through, so we can always add. We put gas in that we are using now, but it's there, so it's ready to go when we're ready. So we got all that done on that first, you know, uh, set.
I wanted to talk about the pathways because it was one of the most important things to me about this project is we we didn't have any way to get from you know we only had one gate on the left side and no way to get around to the right side without going all the way around and so creating this pathway was just amazing this was all grass just one great big square piece of grass out here and so we just took it all away and created this beautiful um, garden around this pathway and it goes all the way around the side with a beautiful Asian style gate and we just love it. It's just so great to be able to take my little garden cart and travel around and get from side to side. It's just perfect. So. These are some creative ways that you can really light up an area, especially you have a huge main entrance here. This really casts a lot of light as you're seeing right here. That the fellows were so great about, you know, I'd come out here and it was like we would be bundled up, freezing cold. And, you know, they would take the uh, borders and lay them out and say, what do you think? What do you think? You know, we we're so good about that. They didn't just go ahead Probably some of that had to do with me getting to know them, but they were so good about getting, you know, they had the plan and we would discuss it. And then I'd say, I'm gonna change that just a little bit because I want to have a little bit more room here by the table. Anyway, um, it, it just came out perfect. We, the low maintenance part of it, it's amazing, the difference. The keeping the stuff on the computer system and, and having a schedule and seeing every day this is what's going on and what days they were taking off and what days they were going to be here. Oh, and John. Uh, yeah, yeah, John was oh, just amazing. Johnny on the spot, man. It's, uh, it, it, the whole crew just works well together. We enjoyed that a lot. And uh, I think they did just an outstanding job.